Hey my Roses, welcome back to my channel. It's your host Rose Basimra as always, the only host you got on this channel. Yeah. Anyway, without further ado, as you've seen the title, of course, we are going to do another VS series. You know, I like my VS series all of the time. Okay, not all of the time, like, but I have to keep on bringing them once in a while. And today we're actually not doing like Filipinos only or like Mexicans only or all that kind of thing or Colombians only. No. But we are doing Passion de Gavilanes, that's hidden passion, versus Passion de Amor. Remember, a Passion de Amor is an adaptation from Passion de Gavilanes. So it's the same storyline, but maybe brought onto our screens in a different way, different actors from different countries, like actually different continents, if I was to say so myself. So it's more like the Colombian version versus the Filipino version, even though the original was the Colombian version. Without further ado, let's go into small details about these um, shows and then we'll go into the percentages and, you know, the votes. So, of course, Passion de Gavilena being the original was made in 2003, while Passion de Amor was made in 2015. If I do my math right, that's about 12 years difference. Um, Passion de Gavilanes has 188 episodes, while Passion de Amor has 194. The languages, of course, this was in Spanish, the one for Passion de Gavilanes, and then for the one for Passion de Amor was in Filipino. The locations. Passion de Gavilanes was in Boyaca, Colombia, while the one for Passion de Amor was in Manila, Philippines. IMDb, online. For Passion de Gavilanes, it was 7.9 out of 10. While for Passion de Amor, it's also still 7.9 out of 10. When you go to Google users that like these TV shows, 92% like Passion de Gavilanes, while 86% like that Passion de Amor. For, like you always know, after I get these details from online, I go on my social media platforms, Instagram, Twitter, and recently YouTube community tab. I put in a, I put a poll up so that you guys also take part in this process of, you know, telling me your server so that we weigh that out. It's like a sample space. It's not like the real deal, but it's just a sample space. I already say this and I will always say it. So anyway, on my Instagram, Passion de Gavilan has got 86%, while Passion de Amor got 14%. On Twitter... Passion de Gavilanes got 50%, while, while, while Passion de Amor also got 50%. It was a tie. When it came to YouTube, it was a flip the other way around, where Passion de Gavilanes had 24%, while Passion de Amor had 76%. I guess if you're good at math, you can already tell which one is ahead, right? So I'm going to also summarize the plots. Even I told you, Passion de Amor as an adaptation of Passion de Gavilanes, but there are some things they might have tweaked here and there, right? So anyway, let's, let me read for you the plot of the stories that were given. For Passion de Gavilanes, three brothers on a path of revenge lead them to encounter three sisters who may be the reason for that which they seek. They want to avenge their youngest sister's death. For Passion de Amor, the story revolves around the Samonte brothers who set out to avenge the death of their youngest sister. They do this by making the Elizondo sisters fall in love with them. <laughs> but at the end, they end up also falling in love with them. But anyway, that was it for today. For more VS series, tap here. And for a video that the YouTube algorithm will choose for you, tap here. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Anya Garbos. But similar, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Kisses.